بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله على محمد وآله الطاهرين للذي أحسن استغنى عن عونك ورحمتك والله neither the one who has done righteous deeds and good acts can dispense with you aid and mercy here Imam Ali salam is referring to khair once he talked about khair before he said من أين لي الخير I am looking for khair, I am looking for goodness. My happiness as a human being depends in getting the khair and goodness and all the things that I can achieve as khair is, uh, is something that is going to give happiness to me. Here Imam alayhi salam says, and the one who did khair, the one who did the good acts and the good deeds is not needless to you mercy. He cannot or she cannot dispense with your aid and with your mercy. We need you khair and the khair to be achieved. We need your mercy and your aid. Uh, here Imam alayhi salam uh, is referring to a great tawhidi fact. And the point is that I know as a human being, I am not in charge of anything. Everything is in full control of you, O oh my Lord. Oh my Rab, everything is in your hand. And uh, if I did something good, I'm not going to be proud of that because I don't ascribe it to myself. I know that I couldn't do the good thing without the help to come from you. If I performed Salat, I didn't know how to, look, to perform Salat. You taught me, you sent the Prophet, you sent the book, you sent the angel, all those agents of you worked. And through the history, thousands of people struggled. Then the message came to me and they taught me how to perform Salat. So to how to do it, I didn't know. You gave me the guidance. You gave me the knowledge. And also the point uh, to have the chance and tawfiq to do it, again, you taught me. You gave me the chance. There were lots of people who didn't have the chance to learn. They were in... Uh, corrupt societies, maybe families, even environment that didn't give them the chance to learn about it and to perform it. But you guided me in a proper environment, in a proper family. You, you put some people in my way that they guided me to the right path. Then you gave me the health. You gave me the, uh, the wisdom. You gave me the sane mind to think and to find and to choose. And you gave me the tawfiq to overcome my desires, to overcome my shahabat, to be able to awaken in the fajr time and to perform salat. And you gave me the chance that the worldly life not to distract me. So all these things were coming from you. You gave me the healthy body to be, to be capable to stand up on my feet. So all the bounties and boons and blessings you gave me, you best with me just to perform a salat is too much that actually everything is done by you. So imagine a child who has a rich, well, a father and the father prepares the, everything in the life for a child. Whatever a child needs, the best of the tutors, the best, the best of the teacher, the best of the uh, school, the best of the uh, educational tools and whatever that you can imagine is prepared for the child. And when the child goes to school and gets an average mark, he cannot be proud of himself. Lots of things have been invested and have been sacrificed for you and you get this mark, so you cannot be proud of that. So Imam says, those who did good things, they don't think and they shouldn't think that what this is what they have done. So to be proud of what they have done. No, everything is coming from you. A story of a mystic has been mentioned in our books that once this mystic uh, had a dream. In his dream, he saw the angels of Allah uh, addressing him. Uh, that you are dead and now you can enter Jannah. And they told her that enter the paradise of Allah by the mercy of Allah. He said, no, sorry. If I want to enter the Jannah, it's because of my good deeds. I had a very righteous life. 
So I had a very pure lifestyle and because of those good acts that I had, because of avoiding sins, I had the chance to enter paradise. It's not mercy. Mercy is for sinful people, not for me. The angel said, okay. So he, 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 he woke up. When he woke up, he had a terrible headache. Terrible headache that he couldn't do anything. It, it, it irritated him so much that he lost the, the control of everything in the life. So he was not thinking of anything other than the headache just to find a way to get rid of it. At night, he fell asleep. Again, he had a dream. In his dream, the angels told him, do you want the headache to go away from you? He said, yes, it's terrible. They said, if you want the headache to go away, you have to give whatever good actions you have done till today. In exchange, then we will remove the headache from you. He said, okay, I accept the deal. He accepted the deal, so he gave all the good things that he had. Then after giving up everything he had, then the angels addressed him, now enter the paradise of Allah by the mercy of Allah. And it was the moment that the mystic found out that you know, I was thinking that it was me. I was thinking that I did good things. I avoided sins. Actually, there were lots of tawfiqat, lots of things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala set up, then I could do something. I had a healthy body. I had healthy mind. I was free from lots of, you know, pressures and tortures and lots of, you know, headaches and lots of difficulties in the life that they could choose a specific life. There were lots of obstacles that if they were to be in my way, they could deviate me, they could change my life to be into a corrupt lifestyle, to get into Mahkan Mayer, as so many people are. So when I look at all the things that, oh Allah, you have given to me, and the small act that I did, and the journey that I have in front of me, I know that I cannot go any further. I cannot do anything without the help to come from you. Inshallah, we will continue with this phrase in the coming session. Assalamu alaikum wa